So this is the year you're finally gonna buy your vacation home and you're worried about when is the right time to buy. Well, this is Ron Wojcikowski with Wise Home Team Realty and I've got a couple of thoughts about when the right time is for you. Uh, the first thing is as soon as you're ready and it sounds like you might be ready. Um, you've probably been thinking about this a lot longer than you realize. I would imagine you've been deciding on cities and places and choosing between a home or maybe a townhome, or a condo, or something a little bit different than all of that. Maybe just a condo tell. Maybe you want some additional income. Maybe you want nobody in your property. You've thought all of these things, and I'm pretty sure you've been doing it for more than a minute. The best time may actually be right now. And here's what I know can happen. When you've been looking for a long time, and you're enjoying the process and it's fun. You know, you're looking, all right, so 100 grand, 200 grand, what if 500 grand? At some point you begin to find that you are falling into a pattern. This means you're getting further along with it. So now you've gone from looking at everything in 17 cities along the coast, and now you're looking in one city in one price point and one type of property. I mean, this happened to me and it was a really good thing. I, really would like to have had a single family home. At least I thought that um, until I started looking at, you know, just the time and the distance, and the maintenance. I says, you know what, maybe a condo. Interestingly enough, I identified a little area in a box about like this big among just a certain number of streets and certain, you know, certain price points and filters that I was using and wanted at least two bedrooms. And while I would have loved a second bathroom, you know, we ended up finding one that was two bedroom and one bath. In the beginning, Look, hey, it was, it was a 3-2 house, it was over here, it could be fixed up, a fixer-upper, it could be in this city or that city. You know, things like the time and the distance to get there all entered into the vacation home thing for, for myself. I know this, when you start developing a pattern, you're getting closer to making that decision. Now, along the way, you're gonna have some fits and starts, but let's just for a moment say that you've got the cash or you're already pre-qualified with a lender or you've got the down payment saved, you've got really good credit and your debt to income is in line, you've done that much of it. The right property could show up suddenly and I would at least want you prepared. It's interesting that some people have uh, this vision of buying a retirement home. Well, work has changed for people. Some people are actually working from home more often and a number of our clients have actually made the move to Florida from a different state, kept their job from the other state and are living in a retirement home five years before they retired. Now, it doesn't seem possible, but yet here it is. And maybe in the last couple of years with less remote working, this wouldn't even been a thought, but now it's a reality. Companies are extremely happy to have good workers stay on and not have to rehire them. And if you move to a different city, you know, being in the office is not as essential as we once thought that it was if the work quality is there. I believe this. If you are in a strategy that involves a retirement home, you may be able to stay with your current employer and pre-buy. And that might be kind of cool. If it's just a vacation home and it's a place for the getaway, delaying it, we just don't know what happens in life. And it may not be the best option to delay it. Now, this is not throw caution to the wind and throw money out the window if you can't use it. But if you know you've got the ability to go out there one weekend a month or every weekend or every quarter and rent it out in between or something like that, these are all signals to you that it could be the right time to make that purchase. Now, let me be fair and balanced and give you a couple of reasons not to make the purchase. If you're not going to rent it and you are uncertain of how often you're gonna travel in the next year to the property and you don't need a massive write-off then buying it today to leave it empty may not be the best idea. If it's a condo, you have the monthly maintenance fee, but if it's a home, you've still got taxes, insurance, and by the way, an empty house needs maintenance too. You could be running the air conditioning, any number of things, the irrigation for the lawn. So there's a cost involved. So if you're not ready to enjoy it, that might be a reason to delay. If the right one doesn't come along and you feel like, geez, you know, we've been looking and looking, we can't find it. I just say before you drop like quarter million dollars, I would want to be sure I like it. The cost of selling that property um, is really going to taint the experience if you decide in six months or you don't want it anymore. So I would make sure that you like it. How about that? 
So can you use it? Do you like it? I'd say you're going to use it and you love it. I would wait for that. I don't believe that there is a timing of the market where it's price is going to go up or down. Price is going to do what prices do. Right now, the inventory is low, so prices are pushing a little higher. The interest rates are super good, so those are balancing each other. It would take a tremendous amount of inventory, not just a few more houses, a lot of houses. Dramatic increase in houses to see the market flooded where buyers would have a, a different opportunity. And I don't know that that's going to happen in 2021. If you're waiting for the right one to come along, You'll have to play the patient game of having it go there, but you may need to be competitive when you get it. And if you're waiting for the price to go through the floor, be you know on sale like 2008 and uh, half price, you may be waiting a long time for that. So we've kind of wandered through this conversation because it's just that. The conversation I'm having into this camera right now is the exact conversation that's taking place up here. So when is the right time? It's the time when you're ready, you're willing, you're able and you're motivated to do it and you're checking boxes and yeah, you fall into a pattern. You look in the same type of properties in the same area and the same price points and you're studying that. That's when it's go time. So whether you're at the very beginning or nearing the very end, love to hear from you. And if we can help you out with that, that would be great. Um, definitely, definitely want to give you some tips on what to look for and maybe what not to look for. And that's what the consulting comes in. At the very least, I hope that you are on a journey to at least imagine that this could be the year that you buy that vacation house, that beach house. And I can tell you from personal experience, it's been awesome. Definitely give us a like. And how about a subscription? Click the subscribe button. We'd love to keep sending these videos to you. This is Ron Weiss-Sikarski with Wise Home Team Realty and talking about your future beach house.